Hello beings, I am so excited for today's topic, how to keep your body healthy. Now, I am not a doctor, first I want to state, however, I have studied holistic nutrition and been certified and done my own personal research and I'm kind of addicted to learning and studying and researching and I work with multiple people daily on healing themselves holistically and naturally and I am doing this video because I find that many of the things that I have learned and have helped other people implement in their lives as well as in my own life have really come to work and since I have been keeping my body healthy and treating it in this way and doing these specific things and feeding my body these specific things um, I've seen a crazy change in my health overall my energy levels, my digestive, my immune system, my inner, my outer, everything has changed about me in the past four years. I'd say three years specifically, but four years total since I have become completely holistic and um, really focused my energy on healing myself naturally. So let's begin. First, I want to talk about prescription medication. Um, I'm going to talk about my own personal experience with prescription meds and my opinion about them. I was diagnosed with ADHD as a child and went through extensive tests and research and I very much have ADHD, which I have a whole another opinion about that, about ADHD even being real and actually just being a different creative loop that your brain learns to process and function and it's basically just you learning how to focus your own attention and your own energy. But um, I was put on prescription meds as a child uh, multiple types of prescription meds. I was actually hallucinating on these medications and as a child I you know didn't know necessarily right from wrong. All I knew was I was supposed to take these prescription meds because the doctor told me that I was supposed to and because we always listen to our doctors, right? And they always know what's best for us and um, it made me hallucinate. It drove me crazy. Uh, once I discovered that it was the medication, in fact, that was causing me to hallucinate, I went back to my doctor, told her, and she decided I should be put on antidepressants to stop the hallucinating. I should still take the ADHD medicine, because ADHD is just so bad for a child. And um, they put me on prescription meds. Prescription medications, antidepressants, they are a crutch, and they often cause you to become more emotional and more suicidal and more depressed than you were in the first place. Prescription medications in general, unless you have multiple personalities or you have schizophrenia, those medications are really important to take, so definitely consult your doctor about that. Um, but for things like depression and emotional disorders and ADHD and I mean, even back pain, all that kind of stuff. You can use natural, holistic versions of medicine that actually treat not the symptoms, but that treat the cause of the problem. I am a big believer that rather than taking antidepressants, you should go to the root and the cause of your depression and your reason for feeling depressed. Because prescription medications simply just numb the problem. They do not fix the problem. They do not bring a solution to the problem to your depression. You're just now addicted to taking an antidepressant medicine to raise your vibration and to give you those endorphins and those chemicals that your brain and body is not naturally producing currently in its current state, and it does it for you. If antidepressants do work for you, uh, that's awesome. They may just be a quick fix though. This is, this is my point. And I highly suggest that you um, look into the deeper realms of yourself and try and find the root of your depression as opposed to just taking a little white pill every morning to counteract those feelings and those symptoms. Um, I'll actually do an entire video on depression and how to heal yourself with depression because it's such a major topic and everyone in the world deals with some type of depression at least once in their life. I have dealt with depression in my life and it's a very serious thing. But every single depression is curable. You just have to hang in there. I'll do a whole nother video on it. Prescription medications. 
I am not a fan of prescription medications at all whatsoever just because they simply numb and they do not help the problem or the cause of the problem. So be real with yourself and as crazy as that may sound to you and as harsh as that may sound, be real with yourself and if you do have depression it's because you are obviously not living aligned to your current purpose and you are not living in maybe in an environment that's healthy for you and if you're not in an environment that's helping you uplift yourself and feel positive and makes you happy every day, you should fucking move. You should move. You should remove yourself from that situation if it's a job. No money is worth your own well-being mentally, emotionally. If it's a relationship or it doesn't matter who they are to you or how close you are to someone, if it's a tox toxic situation, leave. That's another key factor to being healthy and happy is understanding your worth and your ability as a person and if you are in a situation or an environment that is causing you to suppress your worth then you should immediately leave the situation or at least get all your ducks in a row and figure out how you can leave the situation. Food is definitely the first and foremost way for you to heal your body and also prevent future disease. I personally do not have time for any disease or sickness, definitely do not have the budget for disease, definitely do not have a budget for cancer. Um, so I make sure that everything that I put in my body is working with my body and working for my body as opposed to against it. Fritos, processed foods, Cheetos, all those shit, yeah they're cool, they're, they taste good, I mean I don't think they taste good, but they're, they're fun to eat. But they literally inhibit your body in a way that works against your body. They cause your entire system to kind of freak out because it's a processed food that your body is not familiar with processing. And therefore, instead of using your energy and your nutrients of your own body to help heal yourself and help keep yourself healthy, instead it's working to just even break down those foods and, uh, and try and figure out what the fuck to do with it. So. Don't feed your body trash, you know, you're not, you're not a garbage disposal. Um, make sure that everything that you're eating, like plants and legumes and grains and beans and fruit and vegetables, they work with your body because they have antioxidants and nutrients and they allow you to use your energy and distribute your energy in a way they give you energy and it allows you to distribute your energy in your body to help heal any type of sickness. Um, with that, self-love is also a remedy that I have learned to use to keep my body healthy and to prevent any future upsets with my body. Um, I would love to read an awesome quote that I actually just posted today on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, then you should definitely follow me. And I'll follow you back, just comment. Um, and it's a quote from a doctor, uh, her name is Christiane Northrop, she's awesome. As a doctor, let me tell you what self-love does. It improves your hearing, your eyesight, lowers your blood pressure, increases pulmonary function, cardiac output, and helps wiring the musculature. So if we had a rampant of epidemic of self-love, then our healthcare costs would go down dramatically. So this isn't just some little frou-frou new age notion, oh love yourself honey. This is hardcore science. That is a perfect way to sum up the power that self-love, your own self-love, has on your body and your own healing. Whatever you believe works, will work. If you think that prescription meds are what's going to help heal you, and you truly do believe that with your soul core being of your entire self, then it will work. It may not necessarily help uh, completely take away the cause of the problem, as I mentioned before, because prescription meds just aren't made to do that. They really just aren't made to do that. Um, they'll take away the symptoms, but whatever you believe to be true, if you believe that doing this every day is going to help make you a happier and better person and you truly believe it, you do this every morning, then it will work. Whatever you put your energy and your power and your belief into, will work. That being said, eating healthy and uh, doing emotional work and spiritual work in your own being, those are key factors to just ensuring that you're healthy overall. Um, but self-love is also just a huge factor in 
becoming your best self and keeping yourself healthy and healing yourself. The blockages that we create physically in our bodies is actually a stem from emotional, spiritual trauma. Um, whatever you feel, if you allow yourself to feel really stressed out or guilty or hateful or anger, that will affect your body. However, if you counteract that with positive thought starting now, I'm talking about right now, if you counteract anything you've thought about yourself negatively or hatefully or any anger you're holding for anyone else, that is only affecting you and your own being. If you choose to rearrange that, rewire your own thinking and just rewind, then it will work. Positive thoughts are 10 times more powerful than negative thoughts. You just saying, I hate this, and then realizing, oh, oh, I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. I love this. I love this. I love this. That is 10 times more powerful than any hateful thought or anger that you've felt. And the darkness within your own being is nothing to be afraid of. The light is shown by the darkness. You know, you, you tell what's light because you're used to dark. So opening up those inner parts of your being, your emotional traumas, your depression, your darkness that you hold deep down within you, it's actually a beautiful thing. And once you're able to come to terms with any part of your darkness, then you are able to ascend to the light. Staying active is extremely important in keeping yourself healthy and vibrant as well. Um, but it's also the way in which you stay active. I used to go to the gym and at the gym I would be like, oh, I need to run 30 minutes because I need to run 30 minutes because I need to lose that extra weight. And that's what I put in myself. If that's what you're thinking to yourself, then your body is response to that. It's like, okay, yeah, I do have extra weight that I need to get off. I have extra weight, I have extra weight. And that's what your body is focusing on. If you go to the gym and you're like, I am doing this because it makes me feel good. I love doing this. I love stretching my body. I love seeing how strong I am. I love working on my strength. And I love working out because it makes me feel vibrant, strong, healthy, and makes me live an overall better life. If you have that mindset when you are working out or when you're just thinking about yourself in general, that will 100% become your reality. I cannot stress this enough. How you think is how you are. If you look at yourself every single day and you tell yourself, I am beautiful, I love my body, then your body will start to transform into a body that you truly do love. I promise you. It sounds crazy, but it is so real and it is so true. And you can only truly understand it when you try it for yourself. So I just suggest it. Just try it. Your mindset to life is everything. So be conscious of what you're telling yourself, what you're putting in your body, and how you're treating yourself. Are you simply numbing the problem, or are you looking to fix the cause of your problem? You guys are amazing. Thank you for being a part of my journey and for supporting me in the ways that you do. I'm sending the energy back. Love you.